What's going on guys, Matt Everett here with Lethal Camaro and today I am down at Paradise Chevrolet in Temecula. I'm actually off site at their secret location where they prep all their cars. Uh, it's a little process called PDI. I, what does that stand for? Pre-delivery inspection. There you go. pre -deli I knew that, but I for too many acronyms. Pre-delivery inspection. Um, and why I'm here, you guys already know I've seen a 1LE, already done the SS, already done all sorts of stuff, but... Have you ever failed? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. The brand new 2017 Camaro Z01. So you guys are probably wondering, Matt, why is that car filthy dirty? This thing literally came off the truck, was it, I think the night before Thanksgiving, the dealership was closed Thanksgiving day, so I wasn't able to come down um, and do a video at it directly, but they drove it straight over to their PDI facility, and now I get to look at it and play with it. And this one's not sold yet, so they have a red one that did sell, but this is a nice black one. I think it stickers at 64, 65,000. Uh, so if you guys are interested in the ZL1, give Paradise a ring, tell them Lethal Camaro sent you. It's gonna be on their showroom floor here pretty soon. I'm sure it's gonna go pretty quick. But <clears throat> let's let's review this bad boy. So there's lots of changes with the 6th Gen Z01. Obviously new motor, it's the uh, LT4, 650 horsepower, 650 torque. This is a manual uh, to six speed. And all of the kind of, what, do you, what would you call them? The accessories, the upgrades on the interior very much match what the fifth gen has. So you get the micro suede on the seats, you get it on the door panels, you get it on the front dash, you get it on the steering wheel, you get it on the shifter knob, and you get it in the back seat on the Z01. And this thing has red stitching. It even has really cool red color seat belts. We'll go check it out. So you'll notice the hood style on the six gen is completely different. It's a set in extractor. Um, I'll pop the hood in a moment. We'll see what's under the, the car does come with your heads-up display. Again, since it is a 2017, it does have the 50 mark because it is a 50th anniversary version of the car. Um, and again, it's got the micro suede wrap wheel, shift knob. These seats are actually, they look a little bit different than the 1LE, in my opinion, but it's just mostly in the trim. You know, you see these red inserts here at all the body area again the red stitching you get the zl1 across the seat obviously you got recaros in here you get the red stitch center console very much the same as the ss etc but this thing has just as much goodies as the 2ss in regards to um all the buttons like you get your dual zone climate change you get your heated and cooled seats you get, like and that's that's one of the bigger differences with this seat is it's the heated cooled seat section of the uh Recaro. So the Z01 has that specifically. The 1LE does not. Um, outside of that, I think, I think this car has the PDR. Ooh, it even has a chrome little push start button. Um, I think this car has PDR. We'll find out here. Yep, this car does have the PDR set up. So for those of you who are looking for PDR with the Z01, it does have it. Um, again, the rear seat is the micro suede and sorry for all the trash everywhere. It does have the really cool red seat belts. They're not like lock-in or anything. It's just red color belts themselves. It does have the moving seats. So you do get your adjustable seats in the passenger and driver side. And it does come with all the fancy bolsters. So the side bolster is also micro suede there. And again, the door. And get the micro suede all the way across it looks so good hopefully it's coming across on the camera but yeah so wheel wise obviously the z01 is coming with its own unique set of wheels and we are getting the goodyear i believe they're the eagles yep eagle f1 tires so they're the 305 30s in the rear and 285 30s in the front just like my setup and same as the uh 1 setup 
but you can see these wheels they're very intricate you do get the zl1 on the brakes we'll just we'll go see the front so you get your brembos in the front they aren't slotted or drilled um, they're just straight up nice looking rotors uh, but outside of that you know we go into the body kit so obviously the front of the car this is probably the meanest looking Camaro I've seen now the fifth gen was pretty mean in its own right but this whole front aggressive splitter front end you get a whole different setup for the cooling going into the car to the radiators you can even see they even put different spring set or a, a catch screen set up so the radiators and catch junk all the time um, the flow tie has made its way to the ZL1 and then the spoiler so this is very much I don't want to, it doesn't look just like the SS spoiler but it's the same kind of design um, it does have a, a wider lip it's a little bit thicker across the board it is a three stanchion setup for those of you guys interested or haven't seen a good shot from the back but the thing is massive from the top um, I believe the SS one is like I don't know 30 percent shorter would be the proper term and this one overhangs a little bit compared to the SS as well and again sorry this thing is dirty <clears throat> but you do get the quad tip exhaust out the back can't complain about that let's check out from the passenger seat you also get the lighted door seals just like you would in a 2SS um, here, let's make sure we look at all the features here. So this is 65, 710. And on top of all the, the basic stuff, it does have the performance data video recorder, Chevrolet MyWink audio nav system. You get the winter summer floor mat pack. It's got a cargo mat and a cargo net. So big, the biggest, oh, and the gas guzzler tax. I wouldn't call that an add on. That would just be California hates us tax. <laughs> um, but outside of that, this car, is a beast you see that nice zl1 insert it just looks so good and let's check out the back <clears throat> get a better shot of the seats again super high quality they look so good gm did such a good job with the setup and you get the red seat belts on the back as well man they still got the door guard on there guys go there is a brand new LT4 supercharged motor in a ZL1 looks pretty nice and clean and biggest difference that I could see there's not really too much of a difference layout wise I mean the motor is obviously same design but with a supercharged blower on top um, so your cold air intake is offset to the left side a little bit or right side depending on how you're looking at it you see in this car you have a lot more room to get to the headers um, upgrading the headers on this car looks like it would be a lot easier than the SS except for this side again I got that nice pink crap <laughs> and then hood wise so everyone's always wondering well, what does that hood insert do so just so you know the hood only has two openings into the engine bay and there's one big opening here that drops in just above your radiator and then there's an opening here and I'm sure that's just to drain the water out on the what left hand side if you're looking out from your driver's seat but you see the other areas around it are just catches it catches the water and drains it out to here catches water drains it out to here outside of that let's see if I can get good camera angle from the back side so you'll see it's just a plastic piece right here. That's, whoa, camera's going crazy. Camera didn't like that. But you'll see it's just a plastic piece right here with the big opening. So the other side that is unique to the ZL1 is the actual body kit along the side skirts. You'll see it's a whole different design. Looks a lot different than my body kit and looks just that looks mean. It looks like a fighter jet design. <laughs> but there you go, guys. There is a first look of a brand new 2017 Camaro ZL1 just off the truck. Again, this car is filthy. They're going to take it down and clean it up. 
Uh, I'm hopefully gonna be able to come back down and do a video with it all nice and clean and shiny and get another walk around with it completed. But outside of that, this car is available. If you're looking for a ZL1, Paradise Chevrolet has it on the lot. They do have a red one as well, but it's already sold. Um, but yeah, give them a call, come on down, check it out. And uh, thanks for watching the video as always, guys. Likes, comments, shares, always appreciated. Let me know what you guys thought of the Camaro ZL1 in the comments below. But until next time, I'll see you on the road and one more walk around just for you guys.